Welcome back to M on Your Hero, and I'm going to talk about how meditation brought my uh, some of my abilities back. Not as strong as they were at first, but yeah. Let's get into it. So basically, after I had that experience of giving 100% of my life to the biblical thought form God or the church thought form God that took all my abilities away, which I didn't know what I was doing, I had to learn to start all over again, but this time, uh, this time through meditation, and it takes a long time, but just keep on going through with it every day, okay? So basically, I couldn't have dreams anymore. I didn't have dreams. I didn't dream at all. Like, I couldn't remember any dreams. And so, I'm just going to run through all the things that happened again. So I could have dreams again, okay? And uh, I could have. I have power. I could. Uh, I had my abilities and my powers in my dreams again, like fire powers, flying around. Um, Wind powers, electricity powers, powers of the elements I had again. Um, super speed. Um, very high intellect of strategy. I had those, those abilities again. Um, I, could, I could help people in my dreams again. Uh, I could see all the subtlety signs that God laid out for me. The real one. Okay, the real one of the universe with the synchronicities and... You know, the one with the 1111 signs with the numbers and all that. And when I look at different things, the way the wind blows, you know, the way the birds sing, the way animals appear, you know, all those things of the way that the earth speaks. I could see the subtleties again. Now, uh, I connect with God again. So I could actually feel connected like I'm connected with Him. Like I come, I'm connected to earth again. Which I'm connected to God again, because I could see the signs, which makes me feel connected to God again, the real one, not the thought form. Um, yeah, I could see all the synchronicities again. I felt God's appreciation and love again, like okay, He cared about me. You know, nice things would happen here and there. That, you know, like I went to go get some food, they ran out of it, but out of nowhere, they all of a sudden had oranges, which was what I was wanting at a at a food market. And, you know, they was, you know, getting ready to put all the food up, and they said, oh, we don't have any oranges, but out of nowhere, here comes a whole crate that they didn't even see full of oranges. So I was like, oh, great, I'll take a whole bunch of them, you know, thank you. And they gave me a bunch for free, so stuff like that. Um, felt he would answer my prayers. Um, that one, not so much. Prayers hasn't really been getting answered but manifestations has happening has been happening like for instance um prayers don't really work that well but manifesting does work you know like how when you was a kid and you really wanted that game or you really wanted that game console or a bike or you really wanted to see that movie and you thought about it and you wished upon it and even though your parents don't like you seeing movies or don't like you playing video games they were the exact people who bought you the video games or who bought you the bike or who who took you to that movie, you know what I'm saying? That is what works. Prayer works rarely, every once in a while. Because, let's face it, manifestation is natural. We do it as a kid, we do it as we grow up. We know about it, that's natural. Prayer is a construct, it's a, it's not natural. You don't learn, you don't know about prayer when you're little. You don't. You used to grow up with that, you don't know anything about prayer. That has to be taught to you. That has to be programmed into you. So that's not natural. Okay, so. Uh, started, I started spacing out again for connecting with him when he's giving me insights and ideas like I used to when I was a kid. Uh, oh, the wind's blowing like crazy. And uh, uh, I felt so much happier. Okay, so. You know how sometimes you space out? You know, like for instance, you'd be doing something. You'd be writing on a piece of paper and all of a sudden... You just look over to the side and you'll be like, 
and you'd be spaced out for a couple seconds, you're receiving information from like another dimension in that time, or from God or whatever. You're receiving information during that time, and that's what's good. You know, that's what's uh, beautiful to space out, receive the information, and go on about your day. But you go on about your day with a little bit more insight. That's what you usually do. Okay, so uh, explain how I heard him say in my head, real loud, that. You don't have to die to travel the stars and planets with me. You can do that while you're alive. Now, I started to wonder, how am I able to do that? So I heard that in my head. And I, I heard, I heard, I guess, God say that. Higher self say that. Angel, I don't know. But it felt like to me it was God. Because I always thought that I had to die, you know, just to become my spirit. To travel the stars and other planets and all the different magnificent things that God has made and see his magnificent power, you know, that he's made all this stuff and all the different parts of the universe that he is about, you know, on all these things that I, I, you know, it's like I'm in a fish tank, you know, it's like a, like I'm a, like I'm a hamster and the world, the earth is a, is a tank and this is my playground. I don't know anything outside of this tank, like a hamster. The hamster, you know, unless you take your hamster outside, unless you take your hamster to different places, your hamster don't know. Your hamster think that the whole world that it knows and everything that it knows is in its hamster cage. That's what we. That's what I feel like. Like, I'm in this hamster cage, this earth. But in order to get, you know, to get out, I thought I had to die. Then I can travel the world, learn things, learn stuff. Like, learn things I can't learn here. The truth about things, real information, not misinformation. You know. But then I heard in my head, I heard it, heard God say, you don't have to die to travel the stars. You don't have to die to see other worlds. And that's where I started looking it up and I stumbled across astral projection. And I was like, what? And I was like, cool. All right, so. Um, explain how God told, okay, so God told me to stop saying the word occult. Because it brought negative energy with the word to say with 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 the word he said and to say top secret instead because there is positive energy with those words like when you were a kid the words top secret brought positive vibrational energy to you you know i was like okay god that's what you want me to say so instead of saying occult just say top secret because the word occult is with movies it's with the church it's with negative stuff so what you don't want to do is say oh well Occult practices. Just say top secret practices. Because when it's something's top secret, everybody wants to know about it. It's like, ooh, what's top secret? I want to know. You know, see how positive, see how happy you get when you say the word top secret. It's like, oh, man. What? I want to know about that. What's that so top secret thing? But see, when you say occult, occult means that which is hidden. But even if you even if you say the word and you hear it in your head, it still comes out. And it still comes with that negative vibration. It still comes out with that negative thoughts. Occult. Like, oh, what? The moment, so the moment people think or hear that word, they think of Ouija boards, um, burning witches at the stake, you know, all that stuff. So just say top secret when you're talking about lucid dream and astral projection and the stuff that God gave you and mystical powers and the stuff that, you know, the abilities that, that God's given you, you know, that you don't have to tap into. But, you know, just because other people don't know, don't mean that it's not happening to you. It hasn't happened to them. They don't know your life. They haven't lived your life. So don't blame them. You know what I mean? Hold on. Got sneeze. <coughs> Whew, okay. Um actually yeah, that's basically it for that. So yeah. It's better to say top secret than occult. Because top secret means hidden too, that which is hidden. But top secret you heard as a kid and it always brought positive energy to you. It made you more interested in whatever it was. It made you want to try it and it was fun. And so yeah, don't worry about saying occult anymore. Just say top secret. And uh, meditation will bring your connection back with the universe, you know, which is God. The real one, not the thought form. All right. All right, thanks. Thanks for uh, visiting my channel on Am On Your Hero. And uh, try to get outside and feel the air. Try to get outside, look at the clouds, look at the sky, listen to the birds. You know, you can have some music on if you want to, but 
keep it low and listen to the wind or take them out sometimes and just listen to the air listen to the birds just listen as far as you can and see what type of new insights come to you you know like some people get a whole lot of insight from taking the bath I do if I take a bath like I'll get a whole lot of insight from that like I'll start thinking about all type of stuff. I don't know something about being in the, something about being in the bathtub of water or in a bathroom by yourself. It just makes you think about so much stuff. Like you're just relaxing. It's like a meditation because you've slowed down and you're focusing on relaxing. And all these insights and thoughts come to you. It's like a meditation. That's just another way to do it. All right. Thanks for joining. And one, your hero. Till next time.